Hi everyone, it's Suzanne from Suzy Q Crafts and I'm doing a tutorial today um, about the Carnation Crafts USBs and using the silhouette. You can also do this using the Crycut machines, uh, Cricut machines. Um, slightly different way of matching up the overlays but it works exactly the same. Now open on my screen I have the PDFs from the USB already open to one side. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to load up my Silhouette software. I have the Silhouette Designer software 4.3 at the moment from Silhouette Studio. And this is my home page. My mat is set 12 by 12. My design area, really importantly because we're going to be printing, is set to A4. And as you can see down the side, I'm just going to change that. I haven't recorded from the Mac screen before, so this is the first time for me. I normally do it on video camera above where I'm working, but this is a whole new thing for me. Now one of the first things I do is turn on my settings. One is my principal area, and one is my cut area. These lines will show up very faint. The principal area is um, uh, grey, I believe and then the cut area will come up in red, like a red line and a grey line all the way around your A4 piece. You can just about see it show up on here. And then I'm going to turn on my registration marks. That brings us up to a separate panel over to the right hand side and I switch those on. Now you can adjust those, but you, what you want to do is have them inside of your principal area. If they're outside of your principal area they won't show up on the print and that's really important because that's what our silhouette machine actually detects when it's going to cut in the right place. So if they're outside of your principal area and they don't print they won't show up and you won't have a great line. Now I've already got my PDF open and all I'm going to do is select the one I'm going to do which is the uh, grey shoe and I'm just going to drop it onto my screen. Now it doesn't really matter where you put it, you can have it on the design area, you can have it off to one side, entirely up to you how you want to work. So I've just dragged and dropped that. If your computer doesn't do drag and drop, what you can do is go to File, Import to Library, and then do exactly the same thing. So File, Import to Library, that file um, comes into your library, and then you would go into your library and open it that way. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go down my SVG files on the USB. Um, what I also do is I load these onto a separate drive, so I'm not actually working direct from my USB, they're actually already um, downloaded, ready for me to use. So I'm going to select the same SVG as the PDF that I'm working on, obviously, and not terribly detailed cut because uh, that takes quite a long while, so we're going to go for one of the more simpler ones. There's a lots on here of you so that you can see. You can mask it, you can detail cut, you can do a simple line. And I'm going to choose this one, which is fairly simple. And all I'm going to do is overlay it onto my shoe. So this is the PDF is behind. The overlay of the SGV VG file is on top of that. Now, if I zoom in, which is the plus on the uh, menu bar at the top of your screen, you can line those up and you can see the little uh, tiny DC letters on this black line all the way around our image. Now you can either use that to line up here, so one lines up on top of the other, or you can do it by eye. The best thing I find on this shoe is just making sure everything is lined up over the top and it's a grey line that you can see over the top of this image, which is going to be your cut line. And it's quite easy. 
once you've done it once, you don't have to do it again. You just save these to your library. One good way of doing this one is these little Diamante um, droplets from the actual shoe. You can actually line those up by eye here. So I'm just adjusting it to where I think best. Making sure, going over it, making sure that's all lined up and it's going to cut over the top of my PDF in the right place where I want it to. Don't worry about the bottom SVG file, we're going to get rid of that in a minute. But it's quite easy, it's not that complicated. You just need to make sure that that is overlaid on top. Carnation Crafts has a bleed line all the way around the image anyway. Um, so for when you're die cutting, uh, when you're doing your SVGs, it has a really good decent bleed line all the way around your cut edge. So I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to move on. And if it moves completely off, if you've done something wrong, you've left it clicked on, it moves completely off, it's so quick and easy to put back. It's really not that difficult. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out. At the moment it's overhanging your page, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go to my eraser tool and I'm just going to take off straight the way using my eraser tool along this bottom part. Okay, straight the way off. So that has now divided that picture. I click on it and I take it away. Okay, select everything, take away my SVG, that's all I need to do, go back to my eraser, go down the right hand side, and back to my select tool, oh, I'm going to go over to the left, take everything out. What you do need to do when you're using the silhouette is take out these black lines, okay, because the way the silhouette works is it reads our registration marks. Now, if we've got those registration marks there, as well as those black lines, it will not cut. It probably will cut, but it will cut in the complete wrong place. So we're just going to take those out, go to the select tool, click on those, take them away. There's a cut line there. Make sure everything that you don't want cut is taken away. Now obviously I'm breaking this process down for you so it's um, quite time consuming but it really isn't. Once you've done your first one you will be whizzing through these to do all of the others. And now I'm going to go to my image and I'm going to print and if you want to know I use a laser printer, it's a Lexmark laser printer, I'd never go back um, to another printer. It's fantastic. When you're printing colour images, it leaves a lovely um, kind of almost satin sheen on top of your paper. Um, so I've selected that to print and I've now gone to send, which is in the top right of our screen, just to see how that's going to look when I finally cut that out. Now the drastic thing to not do here is move anything on your page at all after you've printed. If you do that, you have to reprint. Okay? So anything at all, once you've printed, even if you think you've moved it and you've moved it back again, it probably won't work. You have to make sure that you don't move anything. So, everything's loaded up. I didn't realise how difficult it was to actually load your mat into your machine, record and press go at the same time. But there you go. Um, the silhouette eye is going to read the registration marks. It's going to start with the one at the top left. 
and then it goes down to the bottom left one and it's actually looking for those marks. This is why we take away the scan and cut marks because the silhouette would read those, confuse those and cut into the wrong place. Now, if it's successfully read all of those, it's gonna go across and set our cutting tool over to the left and then it's gonna start cutting. So it's going to cut that for us. Nothing here has been pre-done. It's all uh, done for the first time on this film. Um, so we'll see how it cuts in a minute. So it's gone through our silhouette machine. I've taken away the um, background. And you can see a really nice detailed cut. I'm really pleased with that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do two on the same sheet. So don't forget everything needs to be in our guidelines. I've used my um, arrow tool, gone over everything, selected everything, so I'm selecting the PDF and the SVG at the same time, selecting the whole lot and then just dragging it by the corner down to the, our size and copy and paste putting one at the bottom of the screen, making sure that it's still within our guidelines. And then I'm gonna to go to print. So it's gonna run through our printer, but this time with two on the sheet, and we've resized them. So we can resize them down to any size we want. These shoes make a lovely little um, toppers for gift tags, smaller cards, and then you can have more room on your greetings card to put two shoes and a handbag if they're all sized down. And if I wanted a handbag to be um, the same kind of size, I would drag that onto the screen as well and size that at the same time as I was resizing the shoes. So I can save these to my library and name them. I've got some subheadings in there because I've got quite a few images so I'm putting these under um, a heading called fashion and they're now going to save to my library for next time. I don't save all um, the different sizes, I just save the SVG and the PDF as one and then just resize every time I want to cut out if I want a different size to the one that I've designed. So we've sent them over to the um, printer to be printed and then over to the silhouette to cut. So we've now got mini designs of our larger shoe. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today and it's been useful for you. I do have a YouTube um, channel which is CCQ Crafts, lots of other tutorials on there. Uh, please give me your feedback, always happy to hear your feedback and let me know if this was successful for you. I'll just leave you with a couple of designs um, with Carnation Crafts USB and the silhouette. Thanks for watching, happy crafting.